G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. It's time for my very first episode of Homebrew Wednesday. Best way to start a Homebrew Wednesday, I suppose, is with a homebrew. So this is a uh, English bitter uh, that I brewed a couple of weeks ago from a kitten kilo recipe. Uh, it's a Cooper's uh, English bitter with their brew enhancer number one. I think I brewed it on maybe three weeks ago. You can see it on my channel. It's in the in the background. So let's just leave that there for the moment. I'm gonna keep this episode really short, just as a quick introduction to what I'm doing. I am a kit and kilo uh, brewer at the moment, trying to step up to all grain by collecting bits and pieces. Uh, of, uh, of equipment to build myself a electric brewery based on some inspiration that I've seen from uh, obviously heaps and heaps of forums and Google image searches. The electricbrewery.com was a big site. Time for another one in New Zealand. I'm wearing my New Zealand cap today. Has it got the fern on it? Where is it? There we go. Paul, this hat's for you mate. I've got lots of them but the first uh, episode of Homebrew Wednesday is a New Zealand uh, hat episode. I really enjoy watching your channel. Time for another one. So my channel has primarily for many years been mostly focused and concentrated on miniature wargaming which is another one of my big hobbies. So I mean you'll notice in my studio here that there's a lot of gaming stuff. Anyway I'd love to get back into some home brewing. So this is my kitchen space down the back at the moment uh, towards the workshop. Let's just have some beer. Because that's important. That beer could be better. It's going to need a couple of weeks to mature. It's two days in the keg, three days in the keg. So this is my kitchen space at the moment. Down the bottom here is where I've been doing my kit and kilo stuff in these little 15 litre soup pots and a little uh, camping stove and basically little fermenters and all that sort of stuff. Now you would have seen up here a couple of bits and pieces, my mash paddle which I made uh, the other day. This is a piece of Tasmanian oak. I do have a stainless steel one which I bought before I made this uh, oak paddle but I just want to, my mash tun, Filter, this is a separate oh, three mil holes underneath, so that goes in my 55 litre Esky. I bought a refractometer the other day, very exciting. Anyway, let's get out of the kitchen. We'll grab this beer. Can we see any colour in here? Look at that colour, I oh, love it, love it. So over here, I've slowly been collecting and sort of cleaning up and is where my brewery is going to be. So I'm in my workshop at the moment. So this is all three phase power back here with an industrial air extractor. This bench had a terrible rubber mat on it so it's disgusting right now. So I need to get some shit out to clean it. I'll get the angle grinder and some polishing pads and stuff and, and really clean it up. I've got two water outlets. Whoops. Oh crap. Uh, I can put a new shirt on later. This bench drains off through here down into the ground and then through the ground, out through this sump pipe here, and this sump here travels all the way outside. So I can clean and wash and make as much mess out here as I want, and it all just drains away. So here's my, uh, my mash tun at the moment, my esky with the bowl valve. I bought a couple of 70 litre pots. These I picked up on eBay, they're nice and thick, heavy. They have a sandwich base down the bottom. They're 11 and a half kilos each. They're the first parts of my stainless steel pieces of equipment for my brewery. I picked up some copper tubing from a plumber around the corner. I'm in the industrial state here. So he gave me a good deal on 20 meters of it or something. I don't know how, how much what it was. But I twisted that one up. I twisted a small, smaller one up. Anyway, so that's just a very quick whereabouts I am at the moment. Shopping for bits, fittings, Ball valves, lock nuts, nipples, on eBay for all of this stuff. I think I'm just going to trash, well not trash, but the Esky will remain an Esky for keeping beer cold. And I'm just going to buy another one of these 70 litre pots to work as my mash tun. I plan on building a Herm system. So look, we're right at the very beginning. You guys are going to follow me as I try and drill holes in these and inevitably fuck it up and have to buy another one and try and drill another hole in that and then probably stuff that too before I decide to take it to someone and get it done. But that's the adventure. That's part of the adventure of home brewing. Do it yourself. Build it yourself. That's it from me. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you stick with me for my homebrew Wednesdays, episode number one. Cheers.